During the cold months of 1996, members of what was to become the LMS Carriage Association ventured up to the north of Scotland, specifically to an area north of Aberdeen. The reason for this was because they had been told there was a large number of carriage bodies that could be found in farmers' fields, and a number of these were ex-LMS vehicles. The intent was to recover as many spares as possible to help those vehicles awaiting restoration. Many carriage bodies were found on this first adventure. Unfortunately, very few of them were of LMS origin, most of them originating from the Great North of Scotland Railway, as well as the LNER. Remarkably like the CK. Wow. Look at that. That is something good, that is. Door hinges, windows broke, mind you. It's just past Merton, it was called Merton, wasn't Mewer it? Mewerton. It's like a parcels wagon. A place called Old Rain conjured up a number of carriages, mostly centred around one house. Unfortunately, none of them were LMS, but it was still interesting seeing them. Right north of Scotland, I suppose. Look at the bleeding on it. Good grief! Mm. Three carriages! <laughs> uh, make it four. four. Builder's plate still on it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got its original end. It's and a the original carriage. Roof. Do you want to go a bit further? Three. Oh, we are jammy, aren't we? Yeah, that's another carriage. That's at, um, that's at, yeah, I'll tell you what farm that is. Mm. It's, it's Westerton of Old Ro New Rain. Which road are we? Oh, that We're one coming there. up here. Lights, can't you? Some maroon stops. Why? They're completely gutted. There's another one further along, isn't there? The clear story. Yeah. That's that's yeah. cutting two halves. Yeah, it might be. Uh, it looks vaguely midland. So the uh, windows and stuff like that. It's yeah. a nice little lookout on the other side. How oh, is that? It's worth a look around the other side. Has it got those round vents that we saw on that one at Rain, Alan, or has it got the Midland sort of louvered? 
and it looks like a full round bend, they don't look lubed at all. Yeah. That's sure where Middle had a fully beaded end, didn't they? And that's just boards with a fancy bit of the top, is it? But there's a beaded on the roof. The door's got vents in it where the, the door ventilators are. Yeah, the one that's open, you can see the sliding inside. Okay. Describe it to me then. It's green and it's got one, two, three, four compartments, so one would think it's half a carriage. It's got a fence around it, so we can't see the bottom of it. But it's got a chimney out the middle, so it's got a brick fireplace in it somewhere. It's just a summer house. It wasn't all carriage hunting though, and time was taken out to explore some of the railway stations. Sooner or later though, carriage hunting beckons and we were back on the trail of some LMS carriages. Unfortunately, this one proved not to be LMS, but it was still interesting exploring it nonetheless. Is it locked, Gary, or not? No. It's a break. break, isn't it? Oh, we've still got the guard area. If we can move up a bit, you can see the remains of the luggage rack inside the compartment. And the third class again on the other door. There's the emergency alarm call with some luggage. Salvaging One little brass thing where the strap rubbed on it. So a look at the door lock. Does it still work? No, I think there's a bit of steel in there, so. <laughs> it's not a coach. It's not a coach. Coaches do not have Corinthian columns scalloped mouldings under the under the eaves and it's the strangest thing I ever saw Derek. It's not a coach, it? Wondering whether we would actually ever find an LMS carriage, we decided to take five and explore an old railway station. Coach spotting for a moment, and we're now station spotting. This is for the heritage.
Can I have a return to Aberdeen, please? Aberdeen? Would that be third class or oh, first class? <laughs> uh, I'd like second if you can do it. Well, probably not, though. <laughs> Here we go. Boing book. Pinch cable. Dice. I've been there today. Keith Algin Bucky Duck Down. Look where it's printed. Not nice. even. <laughs> That's pre is that beaching? That's pre-beaching, isn't it? Six, was it 62, 63? There's well, a whole engine bit that's a rock, a rocker shaft. It's a little incontinent room. It's room way to smoking. No, it's NT. Waiting to do the zoom there. There's a cane. How do you get? Is there a cane waiting? Wait to king. Restaurant. Orange was northeastern, dark blue was eastern. Oh, nice. Maybe that was the name of the station then, NT. What was that? What was the name of the station, that last one? It was on the signal box, what you was, said. It was, what was the name of the station? Kenneth. Eh? Kenneth. There, there was Kenneth a K. There. It was NT oh. at the end and there was a K. Mm. Oh, a ah. There was W. Mine, it was a cap. No, it was all capitals, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was M O. M O. So it did, it said Kenneth. That was, that was, that's the name of the station then. We, we couldn't fit waiting room. Mm. Is it a half, it's a half coat? Oh, sorry. Is it a half coat? Mm, There's a road on one end, something stupid. Let's go up the road. There's a road there? There's some houses got there, aren't there? Hang on by the owners. But it's a corridor coach, isn't it? No. What's this wide window here, then? Well, look at the framing at the end. It's solid. It's third class, whatever it is. It's solid. It's solid framing. Yeah. It's solid framing. Maybe. You're right, Derek. It's like the corridor side. Well, yeah, you were always on about the big windows. Yeah, look at the frame at the end. Like, uh, like a Mark 1 SLO. As time went on, the scent of an LMS carriage began to get stronger. But it wasn't quite what we were looking for. Oh, look at that. Gas lamp. There's the gas lamp still in. Alarm signal. 1904. Yeah, I spotted that. Oh, that Harvey spotted that. <laughs> oh, this has got the gas lamp off the ceiling. Eventually, we did find something related to the LMS. A horse box.
Yeah, sure, it was interesting. And there were a number of components that we could use. Unfortunately, there was no one around to ask permission. So we had to walk away. Were we ever going to find an LMS carriage? Hey, it's very interesting. This looks like it's extremely interesting. And there it was, an LMS designed carriage. We were like kids in a toy shop. We found it. Excellent. At last. This is an amazing find. This is. This is. We don't want to hold it. Well, it depends how much it costs. There are lots of nice vents on the top, which we don't have any of. It's an LMS all steel third corridor or at least it was 40 years ago. Uh, we're somewhere near Craigavor Castle uh, in Scotland and we've just happened upon this uh, old LMS carriage built after the war uh, and it's called an old steel because uh, the outside was built of old steel but the inside would of course. <laughs> what am I talking about? And it's a, it's a third corridor. You're entering now into the vestibule where the toilet used to be. You can still see the floor, the terrazzo floor, the toilet pan here, drain there, brass drain, and the, the, it's a, a, th a porthole third break. And it has actually got a completely intact bog window, Harvey. And what we all, what we came for was the brass ring, which actually clamps the porthole glass onto the frame of the coach. Above us is the water tank which supplies the toilet and now we move on to the first third class compartment. Is it a first? It's a CK. Are you sure? Mm. Right. It's, it's a CK actually which is composite corridor. This is an old third class compartment. You can see here where there used to be the heater control all they're made out of brass probably and the old mirror fit that fitted there and the over the seat light fittings which are probably the, the BR style ones judging by the outline and then this is uh, this is obviously had an extra uh, fitted in later years where you used to get uh, pens create oh there's a piece of window glass there as well which just happens to be there but somebody's been around and stripped a lot of the fittings out uh, previously. Oh, that's interesting. In the corridor side here, you've got the little telltales for the uh, attendants. Little uh, mechanical device um, used to pop out of there, and the old attendant used to know which where he's being called from. There's the uh, the weight of the coach is built. Sixty feet long, nine foot three wide. It had eighteen first class seats and 24 second class seats. So it would be three first class compartments and four second class compartments, third class compartments, I beg your pardon. And the coach designation was Corridor Composite CK. The last shopping proposal, I don't know if I can make this out, but that SP shopping proposal, five, I think it's 63. So it's next due for shops in May 1963. I can't really make anything else out. We've got the number here again, it's quite plain, 24553M. But here at the front the SC is still intact, but you can notice another letter's been covered over which is another M. So it's obviously a coach that's once been on the Midland region and been transferred to the Scottish region later on. Let's have a look see if we can find the builder's plate. We've just found the builder's plate, which I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's got Derby, lot 1488, what looks like 1488 or 1499 maybe. It was built in about 1949. 
so we've discovered a Derby coach. In order to, obviously the coach is 60 feet long, so in the 60s it would have been very difficult to transport the whole coach by road, all in one piece. So what used to happen was they used to cut the coach in half. And you can see here, an actual, th this actual coach has been transported in two halves, but it's been welded together again, literally with about a four inch piece of steel. And if uh, Alan pans down to the sole bar, you can actually see where the sole bar has been cut through and that hasn't been rejoined. So in fact they transport it with four compartments, one end and the three firsts at the other. This is the LMS lighting controller which enables the staff to switch the lights on and off the train from the outside of the, of the train. And this aperture here would be where the fire extinguisher was kept. It would have a circular exterior cover inside the fire extinguisher. Yeah, some are better than that one. Loads of bugs for the centre of the door, anyway. Oh, for the door ends too. They're things like that. I reckon there's been doors on here, don't you? And they've, they've, they've had them. I don't know. What's the business about bathroom and living room? Seems rather strange. Wet his pants. Having found our LMS carriage at long last, we got permission from the farmer to recover as many spares as possible before we ran out of time and had to go home. This was the start of a number of adventures north of Aberdeen to the Barry Scrapyard of the North.